Hello, hello, ladies and gents. My name is Dylan here with MotionVFX.com, and today let's go through an incredibly easy way to color grade in Final Cut Pro by using our free plugin, MLUT. Did you say free, Dylan? Yes, I did actually, and we have quite a few plugins that are free. I'll link a video in the description that goes over some of them if you are interested. You can find MLUT in your effects folder here, and just double click to add that onto the selected clip on your timeline. In our inspector window, you'll see the parameters we have in MLUT. It's simple and easy to use, and that's what makes this plugin such a great option to use if you want a quick but beautiful color grade. By clicking on MLUT presets, you'll see all your options for LUTs. These are all packs you can buy on the Motion VFX website, and we have tons of great options for LUTs, so I highly suggest you check those out when you get the chance. Let's head to the pack Film 3, and trying out these LUTs is as easy as just clicking on these preview thumbnails. I'll resize my presets window first though so we can see our viewport. As you can see, there are a lot of different look options, and this is just one pack. Antithesis looks really nice, so I'll hit OK to apply. But before I do that, I want to point out that not only can you favorite all of the LUTs that you like, so you can find them easily when color grading in the future, but you can also make your own categories and move different looks around. So I can hit New Category, and let's say create one for fitness brands. Now I can just drag all the LUTs that I use for fitness videos into that category. This really helps to speed up your editing. You can also import other LUTs that you own by clicking import here. Let's hit OK and I'll show you how to quickly adjust your LUT. Think of LUTs like tuxedos. They may look good when you walk into a store and put one on, but they'll look even better when you tailor them to fit your body. Same with LUTs. Sometimes small tweaks can help that LUT to fit your shot even better. So here, we can adjust the intensity of the LUT and I'm going to leave this all the way up, so 100%. What I'm going to do first is go down to my levels and lower my midtones a tad to make the shot a bit moodier. I'll also bring up my highlights a bit to make them pop out a little more. You can also use this contrast slider here, which is great when your shot is pretty flat from the start, since it expands the entire dynamic range in your shot with one simple slide. This means it makes the dark areas in your shot darker and the bright areas in your shot brighter. Bumping this up too much will cause our windows here to start to blow out, so we want to find that sweet spot, or we can just stick with the levels so we can fine tune it. And look at this difference so far. A few steps and now we have a nice custom teal and orange look. If you want to add some saturation, you can quickly and easily do that here, as well as add some film grain. So enable film grain, go to Gaussian noise, hit monochrome so the grain is only black and white, and adjust the mount that you want. In my personal opinion, subtlety is key when it comes to film grain, so I'd only move it up a few points. Once again, this is a free plugin, guys. There will be a link in the description to pick up MLUD if you're interested in making the color grading process simpler and easier for yourself. As always, we appreciate a thumbs up, and feel free to ask us any questions you may have in the comment box below. Enjoy the rest of your day.